Hi friends, welcome to Global Online. Today we are discussing NDA UGC NET 2023 Paper 1. In this class, we discuss about an important topic from information and communication technology that is computer security. In this particular topic that comes under ICT include the computer security or the security problems for a computer it can either happen by viruses or any other programs so let's start the session before we moving to the first question let's look at what global online offering for you and for students for your ugc net 2023 paper to preparation global online offering you the most important study materials and that include in-depth explanation about the concept and this concept come uh, come under the sub the following subject so you can get the following subjects study materials for only 1218 after a discount of 20 percentage of so this will help your preparation in a better way and also you can get the study material not only for your exam but also for other exams and interviews you can get the clear idea of various concepts through this program and also in our app you can get paper one and paper two complete courses and you can get the study materials by contacting with the given whatsapp number okay and also again another important or surprising fact or surprising program under our app is that you can self-evaluate yourself by using our evaluation test at free of cost so this uh, this program under free of cost you can get this by downloading our app in the description okay so let's start the first question the first question deals with the software such as virus worms and trojan hoses that have a malicious content is known as here there are, there are some examples virus worms and trojan hose that are harmful for a computer or a device that it, uh, it affect or it infect and the malicious content means the content that causes harm and is known as malware so the program or the software that causes harm or that causes malicious content is called malware or malicious software okay and in this adware and spyware also other important category comes under the uh, harming or the pro uh, cause program that causes the computer in danger so the adware means due to the lot of advertisement that causes issues to the device and also spyware is the another one and that include the hacking and other contents but the firewall is the security program for the computer viruses okay then for, uh, second question related to the viruses trojan holes and worms are and here given the options that explains the various contents in here we want to answer the viruses trojan hoods and worms and we know that these are malicious software so it will harm the computer system so the answer is able to harm computer system clear then next one it is a self-replicating program that infects computer and spreads by inserting copies of itself into other executable code or documents. Here, the question provides the clear description for the answer or the clear description of one of the concept. And here, the self-replicating means that the program that replicate or that will spread by itself into a computer. So, it will affect the copies or it will affect the other programs and also the executable code or documents. Okay. So, it can the power or can the ability to 
cause harm by spreading itself and it is none other than the virus. Okay, so you can see the virus in our human body also, it can the power to spread by itself. And as like that, the virus in a computer also has the power to self-replicate or spread by itself. Clear? Then, dash are often referred to a PC through an male attachment and are often designed to do harm. So here, the one of the malicious content that cause or that often deliver to a PC or that makes the PC harm or the PC means the computer that harms the computer by or through an mail attachment. Okay, so uh, once, upon, uh, once the computer is uh, Locked or it uh, log in with a mail attachment or it opens a mail attachment, the virus or the content that cause harm to the computer and that is the virus. Okay, so the answer is virus. Again, next question. The first PC virus was developed in. So the virus, PC virus that's developed in the year 1986. Okay, so the 1986 first PC virus was developed. And next question is the first computer virus. You can definitely get a question like that. The first computer virus is the creeper. Okay, param we can know that is the super computer and creeper is the first computer virus. And it is developed in 1986. Next one, which of the following is a type of software that has self-replicating software that causes damage to files and system? So it's again a type of software or a malicious content that itself be spread into the software and cause damage or it cause harm to the and information in the computer and it is none other than the worms okay so you can definitely get the difference between virus and worms the virus means it can self-replicating and it goes as a code or documents codes or documents but in worms it causes damage to files and system and also that have a power to be self-replicate Okay, the similarity is that it can both have the power to self-replicate but in virus it can cause by code or documents but in case of worms it damage to files and system. Clear. Then next one, a computer virus normally attaches itself to another computer program known as. So here the one of the computer's virus that normally makes or normally that insert into uh, insert by itself and that cause another computer program harm. It affected into a particular program but it also affect harm to the another computer program also. So that is known as the Trojan holes. So you can just imagine a holes. It can the power to fly. Or, sorry, it can power. Uh, it has just the power to move faster. And just like that, a particular computer program is affected by Trojan holes, and that also affect the another part of the computer program, or the another computer program also affected with the particular computer virus. Clear. Then a dash is small program embedded inside of a GIF image. Okay, so in this question, that's a small program. It's one of the coding and that is embedded. Embedded means it is uh, hided, either hided inside of it. It can also means hided inside a GIF and here also you can get GIF the full form of GIF graphical interface okay so 
in a GIF image. You can see many in a, uh, GIF image, GIF images in WhatsApp and also in other programs. So it is the program is like a embedded GIF image and that is none other than the spyware application. So in this you can see that a small program and that cause the uh, or it can happen due to, uh, by a GIF image and in that you can easily connect the word spy. Do you know who is a spy? The spy is a person who hide or who is the informer to the person but he does not directly collect information he by uh, changing her identity so like that a spy the program a small program that embed or that hide inside a gif image so it cannot be easily uh, di or directly collect the information okay so that's a one of the main important thing and the next one Hackers often gain entry to a network by pretending to be a legitimate computer. So in that, hackers means the person who collects the information or it harms a computer program by causing uh, or may by making a person of uh, uh, by not making the identity or may, uh, directly is does not. Uh, gaining any information from the person it indirectly get information from the from a person so he will gain entry to a particular network so that by pretending to a legitimate computer legitimate means a one one of a computer that is make authentic computer you can see that in some of the uh, website also that is a government website or the hackers will also use the GOV code in some places. So that will make the person to think that it is a authentic site. But this is a site that made by the hackers to collect the information of the people or the others. So that is a spoofing. Okay. So that's called spoofing. IP spoofing. Sorry, IP spoofing. Because here the spoofing means the IP. IP means a uh, computer address or the uh, IP is the particular address of the computer. So through this, the hackers will gain entry to a particular network. Okay, so you can see spoofing means the reality uh, thing that can make into another way or it can look like same the concept the idea is also the same but in a some another way that will make the content okay so that's the answer for the question and then before we move into the next question students for your UGC in a 2023 paper one global online offering you the important crash course and that will include live lectures and video lectures on all units and also we can get 60 plus pop test last 10 years of PYQs complete notes of all topics and 4000 plus MCQs in question bank. So these all are you can get with the one umbrella that is the crash course and you can get this for only 3200 after a discount of 20 percentage off. So you can definitely get this opportunity by making sure all the things you can get under a single head. Okay, so you can contact with our given WhatsApp number for the availability of this crash course. Okay. And next question. A person who uses a computer to cause harm to people to destroy critical system. So here, a person that, who is a person? So here the person name is asked and who makes the computer to cause the people and also destroy the critical. Critical means the identity information and also other related information. So 
that definitely that will be a cyber attack so he is known as the cyber cracker so who is a cyber cracker who destroys the or who make as a use as a computer to cause harm so definitely he is a cyber cracker okay the next question act of sending emails or creating web pages that are designed to collect an individual's online bank credit card or other login information so nowadays you can see all are digitalized the on banking system and also uh, the shopping etc so in this you can see that some of the mails or some of them creating web pages and that definitely makes to or designed to collect the individuals information that like online banking that like credit card number and also the atm numbers etc so that the person or the act of making such content or the act of making such activities are called phishing okay so phishing is the act of making or sending emails for the purpose of collecting the information of online banking or any other related the critical information of a person and also you know the what is spam spam is known as the junk email okay so that is the no lots of emails you can send in a particular person okay hacking definitely it's a process of collecting the information the critical information and also cracking is another term regarding to the computer security okay then all of the following are examples of real security and privacy risk except okay so in this class we deal with the security problems or the uh, malicious softwares so here the given a option and in this there is a old man out so that is the one who is not making any real security problems or privacy risk that is the spam okay so spam is the answer because the spam does not make any security problems but it causes the uh, persons with lots of emails for a one time that's why also called the junk email unwanted emails or messages okay then adware is something or you can see the malware is the one that causes the computer harm and also collects the critical information and affect the computer in a negative way and here the add by you can see the word add is the important term here and easily it can connect with the term advertisement so the software that gets different advertisement is known as the add by okay so then this is a homework question for you a digital signature is an and in this period of digitalization you can see that uh, and under any offices and also in any you can see the digital signature is widespread activity and the digital signature is one that is scanned signature or signature in a binary form or encrypting information or none of the above and you can definitely answer this in the comment box and then you can ask any related question about this topic okay and next we can see the homework question junk email is also called junk email is also called that's none other than spam okay spam that is unwanted email that come to a person so this is the answer for this question and also you know the word spoof okay so that's for the day we end the session and we will meet with another important topic until then thank you